Toby with Toby's Tastings. I am here with another episode. This is going to be a quick one. I'm trying to cut down on the length. The last one was an hour. Um, no one wants to be listening to me for an hour. Oh, shit. I forgot my shit. It's within our reach, though. Ugh. I've got me a drink. As you can see, I've got what I'm drinking tonight is the Jim Beam Bonded. And then I've got the old granddad 114 sitting here because the next episode I'm going to make uh, probably tonight as well is going to be th tasting this with my beautiful wife when she gets off work. So we'll be going through that. I just have those on display. And then in the background, you can see I've got my barrels that are aging. Uh, I did contact Redhead Barrels. I've got some bungs, replacement bungs on the way because I forgot to buy them myself. They're they're. They were very awesome in their customer service, so huge shout out to them. And I've got the Freedom Oak Barrel. I, I had them sitting outside, it was about 20 degrees at some points, and I think that drew some liquid through the wood. I've got both both these barrels I moved inside this evening, and they're both, I don't know if you can see that liquid, but they're both um, sweating some water. It smells like water, and we'll talk about that. Uh, at some point because basically there is a way that you can uh, some whiskeys will actually increase in the alcohol percentage uh, and we'll talk about that in a future video so um, I've got the Evan William black label uh, I don't really care for this whiskey so I'm I really want to see if this barrel will take it up to the next level and then of course the 1783 and they've been in there for uh i don't know what today is today's the 21st so they've been in there about four days um got put in there on the 17th so that's not what we're doing tonight take a little sip cheers ah that's delicious what we're doing tonight is another reveal i believe I have gotten my barrels online barrel. Um, if this is not that, I have no idea what it is. So, barrels online barrel, I think came in, and I'm gonna get to start um, aging some stuff in there. So, it came from Laredo, Texas, and uh, we're gonna open it now. So, here we go, barrels online. Unless this is something completely different. It has no indication of what it actually is. But I don't think I ordered anything else. But you never know. The box does seem a little bit smaller than what I've gotten in the past. But, alright, yes, we are a barrel. We do have a barrel. It's all bubble wrapped together with the rack. Nothing else in here. That's interesting. I will say I ordered this barrel unfinished as a change up. So it's gonna look a little bit different on the outside. I did not make this easy to get into. The price point on this is pretty cheap. Uh, I'll post the info. Maybe I'll stop talking so I can just speed up this part of the video. see the difference on these barrels and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say this spigot is damn near identical to the freedom oak barrel spigot I'm 
just going to hold them up. I mean, that is, that's about as close as you can get to identical. So, um, which doesn't mean much. Um, they, it could be, you know, maybe, there, maybe there's only a certain number of spigot manufacturers. I'm trying to decide to go like this. Kind of like that. I think that looks better. What do you think? Okay, now this barrel. Feels different, feels dusty, but this barrel looks a lot like the Redhead Oak barrel. Um, it's actually I've got a lot of concerns on this barrel. Um, so right here, there is a crack in this wood. On the stave near the head um, this is not as smooth around I can actually see daylight between the band and the there's some cracks here this is just not as good of a quality it doesn't look like but you never know if it's gonna hold water until you put water in it Maybe this, maybe it'll be fine. I don't, you never know. Um, it is charred. I can tell it's charred by looking at the stake. So, all right, here's the bung on it. Um, the bung looks more in line with the kind of bung from the redhead barrel. I don't know if you can see that if I put it in the frame or not, but it looks more in line with that. But it still seems a little bit better quality. Oh, there's instructions. Let's look at the instructions real quick. Okay, lightly tap the spigot to insert it. Please note it just needs a light tap. To have a tight fit does not need to go all the way in. Fill with water and empty in order to remove any small debris. Barrels are sanitized before they are shipped using heat. So no additional cleaning. Seal the barrel by filling it to the top of water and lap sit. The barrel needs to swell in order to seal any leaks. It's normal for a barrel to leak at first. As the barrel absorbs the water and starts to swell, leaks will start start slowing down. This should take anywhere from a few hours to up to a week. Once the barrel is completely sealed, it is ready to use. Be, please cure fill your oak barrel within a month of receiving it as barrels will dry out over time. When a barrel dries out, stays and heads will shrink, causing leaks that may not seal as well as causing leaks to lose. And helpful tips. Barrels that are not varnished will show dark or black stains upon the filling and will continue to blacken over time as they are raw wood. If this is not your desired varnish that was selected in ordering, please varnish your barrel before filling, whatever. When carrying the barrel, do not allow it to sit full of water for more than two weeks. We know that when the barrel seals with water but starts leaking when filled with wine, it may be because the beverage does not have enough water content to keep the barrel swelled. In this case, you can add a small amount of beeswax to seal the leaks. Storing your um, Cool. So nothing out of the ordinary on this. Pretty, pretty low quality. It's pr it. They took. They literally uh, printed this off. It looks like of their website. Um, it even has barrel www.barrelsonline.com. Not as not as quality as the red redhead barrels. And then it's about in line with the Freedom Oaks was a printed out thing like that too. So. Okay, cool. I'm going to go get some water in this and we're going to see initially how well it does. Sweet. Alright, so I've got water in here. Um, there's some obvious, I've got the spigot on. There's some obvious leaks. Of course, we know that's going to happen on a new barrel. Um, I've got it full water. I think what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to, since it's not varnished, you can see the outside soaked up when it got touched with water. So I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave it with the bung out for a little bit. Um, let it, let it leak a bit. You can see it leaking down here. Um, but it's leaking from, from the head, not the spigot, I don't think. Well, I'm going to leave it like that for a little while this evening. 
and top it off and then before bed I'll probably top it off and, and bung it. But I wanted to show one thing when I was flushing it out because you know if, if you've watched any of my other barrel unboxing videos you fill this with water you shake it and then you pour it out to get all the wood crap and, and stuff out of there. So this actually had some of the biggest pieces come out of it that I've ever had and this right here um, this is a piece of the charred wood from the inside of the stave. So um, you can see that char on that wood. And it's not a big deal this came off. You know, stuff's going to come off when it's put together and shipped and everything. Um, I just thought that was interesting in some of the biggest pieces. So yeah, so that's about it on this one. Uh, it doesn't have a finish. It's soaking up the water on the outside it's going to look different it's going to blacken we're leaking water you can see it leaking and uh because my bar other barrels are sweating so much sweating out water since they're, they've come back inside I, I think that's probably normal um i've got them on a tray just to save my wife's table from getting soaked with water as well so hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and uh, i think tonight this evening we'll get another video in uh for Toby Stacy, so cheers.